This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the place to go to for creating your own slick looking website or online store. Mirrorless cameras that are full of frames are cheaper than they've ever been. For about 2G, you can get a nice full frame mirrorless camera with about 24 megapixels. And that's what we're going to test today. And when I say we, it's me and Lot. And we're going to do a little bit of an activity. Golf. Golf, usually it's a nice walk ruined by trying to find a ball that you've purposely lost in the woods. No, we're not doing that. Today, we're doing a very special golf. Not your standard crazy golf, it's Jurassic crazy golf. Look at that. They've got Mountain Dew on tap. It's coming out of the mountains. If you're in the market for a mirrorless camera with a 35mm fat sensor, you've got lots of options. So me and Locke are going to take some photos and videos with those options. Are you good enough? Oh, how scary! Look, we're covered, we're covered by nets. We can't escape lock. We're going to have to finish all 18 holes to get out. No, it just, it could just walk out from there. So this is the first hole. <laughs> this looks so difficult, lock. How, how, we, how are we going to cope? I just don't know how we're going to cope. Lock, I'll give you your ball. I, I've got two. <laughs> we can have, have another one, it's blue ball. I'm going to take pictures of you. So for this, Locke has got the Panasonic Lumix S1. I don't know what it's called Panasonic Lumix. It's the S1 anyway. Brand new. It's big. He's holding in one hand, showing off. But I've got this. Because I like it. It's lightweight. Looks great. <laughs> He's shaking. It looks very great. Yeah, I'm picking. So, Locke's got a big thing in his hand. He's shaking and he's got a blue ball. But I thought it would be only best to poke one in the hole first. The golf, of course. Oh, what are you thinking, you dirty mind? Oh, shit. Look at this nice dinosaur action in the back. You know, this, this probably isn't the most interesting of subjects to take photos of. And, 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 you know, probably could find something better, but whatever. Oh, third three strokes. There we go. Give me, give me, celebrate. Give, give me a little face of... Uh, all it took lot was three strokes of a stick and he's a happy man. Me, I'm happy with the Z6 as it's the camera I use on a regular basis. It's got a decent focusing system, great ergonomics and a video mode that isn't a complete disaster. The same can't be said about my swing. Oh shit, almost lost in the water. The Z6 feels great in the hands, is nicely balanced and focuses well and all these images are JPEGs and they look great straight out of camera. Oh, you can learn, you can learn something. Alright, that's it. Yeah, that's, 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 that's fine. So yeah, I like Nikon, even though it's got one card slot. Uh, oh no, we forgot one camera. We've got three cameras today. We've got the Panasonic S1. I've got the Nikon Z6, and there's also the Sony a7 III, which is the cheapest in the Sony range. There we are. We've also got the Canon EOS R in Spirit. So, there we are. We've got all four cameras right here. When I said in spirit, I didn't mean it in the sense that the EOS R is dead already. Well, who knows what will happen when this video is published, but at the time of me recording this video, it's not quite dead yet. Body-wise, the Sony and Panasonic have the features that photo geeks all love. Two card slots. And that's pretty much it. They've all got screens that tilt. The S1 does the gangster tilt too. Top LCDs on Z6, S1, not Sony. In fact, the Panasonic has the most professional grade body with top weather sealing and the best grip. Great if you like your DSLR killing mirrorless cameras to be just like a DSLR. Actually, their 50mm lenses are bigger than any DSLR 50s, including Sigmas. So yeah, anyway, the, the reason why I picked the Nikon is because it's, it's quite good all-rounded. It's good at stills and good at video. Surprisingly, I, I think some of the other brands, Canon, they don't want to kind of um, pull on their own doorstep when it comes to video because they've got more expensive video cameras. Nikon, they don't. So it's like, whatever. We'll put a good video on this. You can, you can shoot 4K with log, 10-bit external, and they're, they're continuing to update it with firmware updates. So now you can shoot 4K raw, which is the cool part. That is great when they can update the firmware and essentially give you a new camera. That's why I'm invested in this. I have to say, I, I like the S1, but not the weight. I mean, when I have to shoot it single-handed. Locke shoots a big, heavy thing 
one-handed, oh, it just writes itself, I tell you. Another thing, the S1's IS is pretty damn good. No, it's pretty damn phenomenal. For video, I feel like it's better than the Sony's <laughs> IBIS. Give some smooth, steady shots. <laughs> I think it was just sad from the beginning. What, again? Yeah. First shot. Huh? You mean that that's counted as one shot? Or? I think so. Okay. All right, here's take two. Here we are, third. There he runs, he's running, off he runs. Another thing I like about the Nikon Z6 is that when you change from stills to video mode, the settings can be different. It, like with the Sony's, if you're shooting S-Log in video mode and you switch over to stills, it's still S-Log. With this, you can shoot and flat with video and then boom, over to stills. Can a, it can be another picture profile. Okay, let's shoot some video. Nikon Z system doesn't have IS in its lens, so it relies purely on IBIS. But how does it fare? Oh, yeah. There we are. Oh. Oh. Despite not having lens IS, I think Nikon's IBIS does an amazing job of steadying the shot. You could call it a steady shot if another brand didn't have the rights to that term. Water. Uh, sorry, I think like, Nikon's great for video as well. Okay. You don't like it? Well, I don't know. I haven't really tried it. Why did you pick this one? Well, everything works really well. The IS is great. I, I like a lot of things like AF looks fine, looks pretty well. I'm not sure we still have to look at the final footage. Uh, IS is great as I mentioned, but also something like when you have uh, AFS, AFC menu focus on your thumb. This is really convenient. And when you switch from like if the AFC uh, focus on something else, focus on the branches in front, you switch it to menu focus and it has uh, distance scale and focus picking. It's just really convenient. Being, being a GA Tribe user, I, I, I know that they're quite good with the IS and it's quite surprising that they can apparently have quite good IS with a bigger Ooh, sensor. Right. Um, but one thing I want to find out is really, is the focus that good focus. because GH5, I'm a long-term user of that. Let's see how this compares to the other cameras. Mm -hmm. I think the Panasonic S1 has the best stabilisation for full-frame video. It's almost as good as the GH5. <laughs> it's shaking. It's not very great. Yeah, I'm picking. Which is just as well because it's a bloody heavy camera. IS, great for vlogging. S1 weight, not great for vlogging. I was going to say, the body, although it's big and it's heavy, I actually quite like it. I, I kind of miss, sometimes I miss like just a really solid, robust body. Well, it would be great. I mean, it would be fine if you were behind the camera with yeah. two hands. Yeah, when you're holding it like this. Now? No, I'm not then, enjoying it. <laughs> I can feel the burn, uh, the, the lactic acid yeah. or whatever it's called, burning. Okay. <laughs> you're shaking now. I am, yeah. <laughs> All the best golfers can, can play keepy up for you like that. <laughs> Shit. It's fine, it's fine. Let's start. Let's concentrate on playing professional, yeah? What? Where's the gun? This feels nice. It's like my own little cocoon here. Fuck. Shit! I'm ahead of you. Yes! I'd say the, the auto-focusing, the, the box around you, it seems to be working quite well. It's quite active. Yeah. Hopefully it's doing a good job. Quite amazingly how it recognizes it, but it, does it actually focus on? That's another thing. That's another question, yeah. The Panasonic is the only full-frame mirrorless camera out of this bunch that uses contrast detect AF only. It does use some clever tech to detect human objects facing to the camera away and animals. And at first, it seems like the S1 is performing quite well with picking out the subjects for focusing. Yeah, so Locke's still winning. For some reason. That's what do you right. for some reason? That's not right, that's not right. <laughs> you should be losing. But anyway, we've, we're, we're gonna switch over to the Panasonic for stills because they're supposedly uh, aiming this at still shooters, aren't they? That's primarily. They um, but fair enough, what do they say? Well, let's have a look to see how it compares as a stills camera compared with the Nikon. So it's pretty good in the hands. But a nice 
quite quite nice and quiet actually. Yeah, it is. Yeah, because it's it's almost DSLR shaped, maybe a bit thinner, but this is this is not too far off of 5D Mark IV, but with better specs anyway. It's like a bum hole. Comes out the bum hole like that. Locks gone hand solo already. Let's see if he's accurate enough to thread it through those bum cheeks. That's not bad. I, I, I usually mess it up when it's really close though. <laughs> ah, oh. When you were back there, it just wasn't focusing on you. Sometimes the Panasonic didn't want to focus, even if you wanted to. With backlighting, it kept refusing to focus my shots, and it turned out I wasn't having any better fortune with my other shots. No! Oh! <laughs> no! Shit! <laughs> oh! oh. Nice and easy. Ugh, bad bum holio action. Although the AF box detects a human subject, sometimes it just doesn't focus at all, especially with backlit subjects. For some reason, it seems to prefer trees in the background. For stills, the contrast detect AF on the Panny just isn't consistently reliable. The Sony is the best, no competition. Then Z6, although that sometimes has issues with backlit subjects too. It's really detailed and all, look. It's got bum hole. Oh, it's spongy. It's spongy, feel that lot. It's spongy. <laughs> oh, the whole thing is spongy. Oh. God, it's like a real bum hole. Just going to set that up on time lapse for no apparent reason, just, just to show you that it's got a time lapse mode. The Sony currently doesn't have a time lapse mode, but firmware update, they're going to put it in. But the Sony, you have to use some other software to, um, to create it into a, a proper kind of time lapse movie. That creates it in camera. Z6. Mm, yes, not a very interesting time lag, but there you go, it works. But by the time this is out, the firmware update for the Sony will be available to keep it in line with the others. Now it's time for me to switch to Sony. That's what all the people say on YouTube, like, oh, why did I switch to Sony? Oh, I'm gonna make a little video about it. <laughs> so now, now it's time to shoot with the Sony. It just feels like home because, uh, well, uh, I've actually got some of the dust from home, so that's probably why it feels like home. But I've been using Sony's for so long now, it just feels natural somewhat, if that kind of makes sense. But anyway, switch on. It's now on S-Log, everything's video. S-Log, I need to change that because I'm gonna be shooting stills. But one thing, one thing, one thing I do like about Sony is the auto-focusing system is great. It's top-notch. It's just gonna get better with the new firmware update. Hopefully, Locke can get better skills with a firmware update. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> okay, I think we both need some skills updates, but even pre-firmware update, the Sony has some slick focusing abilities, and perhaps the best. Fisting the hole. Do you think the zombie focus better? I feel, I, it feels like it. I don't know if it actually goes, but something about it, it just feels quicker. Snappier, right? Because uh, the Lakon, I tried it uh, like two times. It focused on the ground in front, something like that. Right. But this is always on you, uh, either on your body yeah. or if it recognizes your face on your face. Yeah. There's something about the Nikon focusing system that's still a bit fiddly. It's, it's yeah. It's a little bit confusing actually. This is just simply just hard press, and then you see those little squares light up. But. I hope with the new Nikon phone update with the I yeah, 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 yeah. hopefully yeah. they're gonna get that sorted because they're, they're, they've got the whole 3D matrix or autofocusing thing, which is great. So they know how to make good yeah. autofocusing systems. But they don't know how to use the phase detection before. Yeah. Because they were really good at phrase detection, not phase detection. Yeah. yeah. And they get it right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was I was a bit confused at first, but then yeah. I get it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Well, let's, let's keep going. Let's go. Without a doubt, the Sony is the best all round. It just works, and it works really well. For video and stills, the focus is reliable. The Z6 does a decent job with focusing, but sometimes it misses the mark. One thing we seem to be having problems with was the Sony Face AF, weirdly enough, and just generally the menus, which is not weird because you expect that every time you pick up a Sony camera. Face, priority AF on, yeah. Now it's on. Wait for it. Oh, it's not checking. It's just, it's just turn off itself. Just uh, we're, we're just just pause momentarily because we're just 
we'll just reset the Sony and um, setting everything up again. Face detection works again after initialize the camera and then now have to then uh, of course the Sony uh, menu system really help with setting it up again. The, the exposure assist thing for shooting as law. Camera assist, I think it was in the, the suit little suitcase setting oh. menu. Why is it in the suitcase I know. menu? I know Sony, sort it out. Oh, <laughs> it's all that faffing about the Sony settings, that's what. <laughs> it's putting me off my flow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, mate. There we go. Doesn't matter, there's six. Oh, my whole phone's falling out now. Shit. <laughs> it's like we're in a shit disco here. In the low light, the Panasonic S1 was just as inconsistent. It is contrast detect AF unlike the other two, but we'll just have to wait and see what Panny do with future firmware updates. The thing to love about S1 is that the video does look amazing and we don't even have vlog for it yet. The hybrid log gamma files already look sweet as, which means it will just get better when Panasonic released the firmware update for video that unleashes vlog and 4K 60 10 bit 422. It's the only camera of the three that can do 4K 60 auto 1.5 times crop, but for focus, sometimes it just gives up. A bit like me with golf, which is surely the only explanation for this. Whoa, still got a chance! Still got a chance! Oh! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> well done. Good game. No. Good game. Good game. Whatever. Good game. Boring. Golf's boring. <laughs> I find it quite, quite fun. <laughs> you do find it fun when you win. Yeah. With the Nikon, you have 4K 10-bit 422 with an external recorder, and it functions as a better stills camera than the S1. I've picked the Z6 for stills because I just like the look from Nikon cameras and the Z6 and the lenses are a nicely balanced combo with great performance and sharpness. But the odd thing is, it's quite easy to be drawn back to the Sony. There is no Canon here, but in some ways, the Sony is the new Canon. It's the new standard for mirrorless that people turn to first. For stills, lockpick the a7 III, and for video, the same. For straight out of camera video, because of the good focus and familiar looking files, I picked the same. More have joined the full frame mirrorless party now, but for now, the boat hasn't been completely rocked. So that's it for this rather special kind lot golf bonanza where we got together and talked crap about gear again. Hope you enjoyed it. This video was made possible thanks to Squarespace. If you ever want to set up your own website, store, or just your own domain, you should check them out. It's super easy to get going and 24 7 customer service. It's brill. Plus, there's a little discount too. Go check it out. It's simple if you want to transfer over your domain and allows you to set up your online store easily. If you want to make your next move with this all-in-one platform for building a beautiful looking website, you can start a free trial today with 10% off your first purchase by clicking the link in the description below.